Hey guys, what up? It's me, Nikki, with new hair color. Um, and Caitlin over here. Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, I know it's been a while since I've done a video. I always say that, and it's always been a while since I've done a last video. But I thought I would do one now. What up? So it is now currently half past ten at night, and we on a Friday on a Friday night, and we're getting ready for bed. Um, we're crazy. No, um, yeah, we really don't do much. We came from an engagement party and we were like, yeah, okay, bye. Um, we like our own company. Anyway, um, I'm going to keep this video short. I just wanted to discuss, or I wanted to ask you guys, because, you know, you guys are the ones who need to help me with this. Um, if you've watched my videos and stuff like that, you've seen that I did ask for a bit of help with my fundraising um, for my surgeries. Um, Caitlin's like, and uh, and like that's kind of slowed down now, so it's basically stopped. So I'm going to put the link back in here, um, mm. just so that you guys know. Um, I hate asking for money and stuff like that, but my surgery is about 180,000 rand, so it's about 15,000 dollars, which at the moment for what I'm earning and stuff like that seems like a bit of an incomprehensible task. It's like I, I can't comprehend ever getting to that state. Um, so I, I did start a fundraiser account, um, and it, it did really well in the beginning. A lot of people really donated, and it was amazing. Um, but it's now stopped at about $2,000, which is great. I'm still, it's still going to add to everything. So I wanted to know from you guys, should I wait and see if more people donate? Um, or I could take what I have now and put it down and buy myself boobs. Um, because although getting a vagina would make me the happiest girl in the world, um... Boobs would make me the happiest girl in the world. Caitlin says boobs would make her the happiest girl in the world. So, I just, if I do this now, if I wait, it's going to be a longer process. It's going to take time, and I am suffering more and more from body dysmorphia. Um, mm. dysphoria, sorry, however you guys want to say it, um, it, it, it is affecting me more and more because I feel like I'm stagnant. Um, I feel like the hormones have done as much as they can. So I'm kind of at that point now where I'm like, okay, cool, done the hormones, my boobs are this big, like they're itty bitty. Like they're that. bigger than that. Like that. Okay, how big are they? They're beautiful. <laughs> They're beautiful, but could do with some enhancements. So I feel like I'm stuck. I feel like my boobs have gotten to a point where they are going to stay. Um, obviously, because I'm trying to lose weight and lose muscle, I've kind of hindered that growth process because boobs are mostly fatty tissue. Um, so it was like, okay, get them and not have boobs or put on weight and have boobs. And I want to be itty bitty like this. No. Like this. Just be normal, healthy, and beautiful. With fake boobs. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, so if I, I, I can put down like an 80% deposit if I take the money that I fundraised and put that towards boobs, which will really help with my self-confidence and my body dysphoria, and it'll feel like I'm actually progressing. But you guys are the ones that gave me the money, so I don't want to take that money and use it for something that it wasn't meant for. So if you guys think that I should keep it and just carry on saving and hopefully it'll pick up again, then that's what I'll do. Um, you know, you guys have helped me grow and watched me grow as much as I have. Now the boobs must grow. <laughs> says now the boobs must grow. You can see where she's pushing for. Um, and I, I do, I do want them and I will get them eventually, but it's just a question of whether I use the money I've been given or money I save myself. Um, so I just, I'm going to keep this very short. Um, that's kind of what I want, but I will put the link in there, so if anybody else does watch, um, like I say, I am raising money for a vagina. <laughs> you can make me the happiest girl ever. Um, that's what I am saving money for, that is the goal. Um, but maybe boobs are a good stepping point. Um, so yeah, you guys can let me know. Also, I know I haven't been on for a while, but please follow me on Instagram, Nicole Lowe Photography. So I'll put that link in there as well, as well as Facebook, Phoenix Star, 
as well as other things, um, or Google+. Plus. I don't and really Twitter. use that that much. And Twitter. Twitter. Phoenix Star too. I'll put that there as well. So I do use all of those. I try to reply as often as I can. I'm not very good with it. But yeah. So yeah. That's what I wanted to ask. That's all I'm going to say. How do you guys like my new red hair? I kind of like it. I think it's... Poison Ivy-ish. Poison Ivory-ish. 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 That was the beer. P poison Ivory-ish. Yes. I have a tattoo to my thigh. You'd think I'd know how to say it. Like poison ivory-ish. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so I'm I'm now a ginger. Yay! Um, okay, cool. So thank you for watching. I gonna I, I will read the comments on these because obviously I need to know what you guys say. So with that note, I'm gonna have a piece of chocolate cake. That cake it made me. It's 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 gluten free and lactose free and sugar free and it still tastes good. It's amazing. <laughs> I and into bacon. Bacon. Bacon and bacon. And bacon. Yeah. Anyway, thanks guys. And until then, until next time, hopefully soon. Bye.